Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Astra video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable the sticky header in Astra theme. So here you can see that if I scroll down, the header will not stick there at the top and we want to enable the sticky header in the Astra theme. So this is a Demi WordPress website and I'm using Astra theme on this website. I do have Astra Pro plugin installed on this website and sticky header is the module in the Astra Pro plugin. So in order to enable the sticky header, you need Astra Pro plugin. Here you can see that I'm on the Astra dashboard and you will see the sticky header module here. It needs to be enabled. If you already have Astra Pro plugin installed, make sure that the sticky header module is enabled. Now let's go to the website and go to customize. Here, if you go to dashboard, under appearance, you will see customize. You need to go to customize. And in the left hand panel, you will see header builder, go to header builder. Now, if you scroll down, you will see this option here, sticky header, click on sticky header. So you can see that these options are not enabled. Here you will see the layout of the header. This is the primary header section. This is the main header section, you can say. And in the primary header, we have site logo and title, primary menu and cart. You will see that here. And this section is above header section and this section is below header section. So you will see these options here stick above header. That means this section will also be sticky if you enable this option. And this is the option stick below header. This is the below header. If you enable it, this section will also be sticky along with the primary header. So right now I do not have anything in the above header and the below header section. I only have the primary header section here. So I'm going to enable stick primary header. Now, if I scroll down, you will see that the primary header will stick at the top. And this option is also enable, enable shrink effect. So if I scroll down, it will shrink just like this. If you have something in the above header section, you can also make that option sticky at the top. Let's see if I can add button in the header above section, you will see the button here. Okay, now when I scroll down, you will see that this option, the above header is not sticky. Now I'm going to enable this option. And now if I scroll along, you will see both the sections are sticky. All right, so I'm going to disable this one and disable the stick above header section. Similarly, if you have anything in the below header section, you can make that section sticky. Now the next option is hide when scrolling down. So if I enable this option, hide when scrolling down and now when I scroll down you will see that the header is not sticky at the top however if I scroll up you will see the header is sticky if I scroll down the header is not sticky if I scroll up you will see the header is sticky so this is how this option works now if you want to add different logo for the sticky header you can enable that option in many cases your header may be transparent when you scroll down you may want to change the background color of the sticky header and you may want to use a different logo for the sticky header so this is the option for the sticky header you can enable this option and you can select the image for the sticky logo so i'm going to use this one now you will see this is the main logo and when i scroll down the logo is changed so this is how you can use different logo for the sticky header. Here you can set the logo width and this is the animation slide animation or fade. So let's see, I'm going to use slide and see how does this work. It's going to slide. Let's use fade. You will see the fade effect is there. So I'm going to use slide option. Now here you will see enable on desktop mobile or desktop plus mobile. So if you want to enable this sticky header only on the desktop, then you can select this option. If you want to enable the sticky header on the desktop as well as on the mobile devices, you can select this option. Now let's see how does this look on the mobile device. So we are on the desktop. Here I'm going to select mobile. So this is how it will look on the mobile device. And if I scroll down, you will see the sticky header is there. You can hide the builder and this is how it will look 
on the mobile device. So you can select whether you want to enable the sticky header on the desktop or the mobile device. If you want only on the mobile device, then you can select only mobile device here. Now let's go back to desktop view. Now, if you want to change the background color for the sticky header, you can do it from the design section. So right now we are back to the sticky header section and this is the primary header section. I want to change the background color. Right now it is set to white background. Here you will see the option. Click on it. And this is the general settings. And here you will see design. Go to design. And you will see the background color right now. I can change the background color to white. So this is the background color. And here, if you scroll down, you will see the option for the sticky header. Okay, so you can, this is the main header. And here you will see the background color option for the sticky header. So I can click on it. And let's say I want to change the color for the sticky header. So I'm going to use this one. So this is the primary header color. If I scroll down, you will see the sticky header with different color. So you can change the logo for the sticky header as well as you can change the color settings for the sticky header. So once you are done with the changes, you can click on publish. And let's see how does this look on the actual website. So I'm going to open this website. So this is the primary header. I'm going to scroll down and you will see the sticky header is there. We have changed the color and we have changed the logo for the sticky header. So this is how you can enable the sticky header using the Astra Pro plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.